What is the role of belief in magic and magical practice? This is a good question, but we must agree to separate the concept of religion from that of belief. After all, religion implies a certain tradition, and every tradition involves rituals and accepted rules aimed at achieving a specific result. Belief, on the other hand, does not imply this. Belief suggests a connection with something supernatural, such as what we call gods, forces, or divine minds. Everyone defines these in their own way, based on their worldview and the traditions they follow. Belief is an individual matter and does not require participation in common events or the performance of shared ritual actions. It may involve them, or it may not. In any case, belief is very important, but I emphasize, only when it is belief, not religion. When we adapt magic to religion, it serves the religion, it doesn't serve you, your tasks, or the force you are trying to interact with. First and foremost, it serves those who established the rules that you follow. Belief creates a feeling of unity. In magic, it's a strong sense of unity with your own force, as a mage feels like he is becoming a god with whom he is connected. And it's not just a figure of speech, he truly becomes one. Everything changes, his temperament, his physiology, his character, his voice, his gait, everything changes as long as that connection exists. Accordingly, when a person practices magic based on his belief, he receives tremendous power. So, first of all, when you try to reach that level of interaction with the Force, ask yourself and check whether your connection is based on belief, not religion. And I think you will immediately feel the difference.